buongiorno a tutti. Eh, mi consentite di fare la presentazione in inglese, che lavoro in Inghilterra da più di vent'anni, però poi prendo qualche domanda anche in italiano. So, I'd like to speak to you about a very interesting topic, very in brief today, um, which is the health economic advantages and the cost benefits of a laser service. Um, I come from a background where evidence-based practice and cost justification have to be cornerstones of our practice because no mind how good what you suggest is and how beneficial it is to the patient, whether you're working in the private sector, whether you're working across a national health service, unless you can justify it economically, then a service probably will never take off. I come from the Welsh Centre for Burns and Plastic Surgery. We have a catchment population for plastic surgery patients of over 2.3 million. We are the adult burn centre for Wales and the southwestern UK with a population of 10 million. We are also the level 5 treatment uh, for all military surgery uh, in the UK, including the Royal Marines uh, and the Royal Artillery. Uh, we work across two sites each of which are equipped with about 25 lasers. We are three consultant surgeons dedicated for laser practice with one specialist nurse and one laser technician, uh, founded 22 years ago by our founder, uh, Maxwell Murison. So the cost, what I, the, the aim of what I'd like to uh, speak to you very briefly today is, um, how do we compare um, cutaneous uh, laser surgery as an example to traditional surgery and, and we used SCAR service as, a, as an index reference because we've done um, most of that for over 25 years. So we believe our evidence base is really, really robust. However, I will give examples which should relate to much further afield within context of our distinguished audience today. So we performed a retrospective face-to-face -face analysis of service data, like for like, year for year, over 22 years of practice, and also very briefly, we conducted a current best evidence approach um, of the subject matter. In a nutshell, what we have found out is that for a small increase in laser procedures, we have achieved a 47.3% reduction in all kinds of secondary burn surgery whether that is transcutaneous, more recently with the fantastic innovations afforded by Euphoton through the subcutaneous bare fiber laser. Um, and we believe that the natural reduction in secondary burn injuries we've seen over 25 years simply cannot adjust like for like. And we believe that the single most important introduction during this past quarter century has been the introduction of a laser service. We estimated in real terms the cost of an operating theater, um, both on the NHS Wales and also within, re within reason in the private sector to be about 1,450 pounds per hour, excluding uh, staffing costs, and the cost of a laser suite uh, of being about 470 pounds per hour. But the key point here is portability, and I was delighted to hear about the new generation of laser minis that are being developed because we believe that um, portability uh, increases the cost saving by a factor of 120%. More laser time, more theatres, more flexibility. We have direct considerations um, of, excuse me, we have direct considerations of um, uh, the numbers, please. Thank you. We have more direct considerations, for example, um, the fact that we can now achieve a near return to normal for very significant burns. Um, but also, we have an indirect consideration of a much lower complication rate. So, for a typical traditional secondary reconstruction surgery with grafts or flaps, one would expect about a 5 to 9% secondary infection rate. Whereas with laser, the rate is below 1%. Therefore, better for the patient, better for the institution. And up to 30% total body surface area in our hands can be treated even in under, under topical anesthesia with 
uh, no complications to the patient. We then speak of a pure SCAR service where we see the costs going down by nearly threefold. Not only is this beneficial again, but it is a get out clause for free for when all our scars sometimes go bad. In the aesthetic sector, um, we achieve a, a like for like comparison of about threefold. Um, and we now have evidence that, for example, the endolift procedure is as effective as um, suture based uh, facial lift procedures, but of course, the, the benefits are far longer acting. And then there are those difficult intermediate positions, such as keloid scarring. Uh, this is achieved entirely with laser, with no surgery whatsoever. And I'd like to make an accent here on the benefits of laser in combination with other therapies where the, we believe the effect is synergistic. And in this particular case, uh, the use of fluorouracil, botulinum toxin, and steroids um, with a subcutaneous bare fiber Lazamar 1500. Certainly our views are not alone. We have conducted a evidence-based uh, uh, systematic review and we have achieved level two evidence supported by level four, which is consistent um, over 15 analyzed manuscripts that certainly this is a medium to long uh, term cost uh, benefit viability for the institution. There are of course challenges. The first evidence-based feasibility study is this one uh, and in fact we are facing an ever-changing cost of health services scenario. We have different mod health models in different countries uh, and the single most important challenge I found, especially within comparing direct costs in the US and the UK, uh, is the relative lack uh, of accurate uh, cost and compensations in CCSD and OPCS codes for insurer-based practice. Um, but the true economic cost of saving lives with less downtime uh, and lower cost implications is quite difficult to assess. We've, we believe we've barely scratched the surface. And we believe the true cost implications are far better than what we present over here. We do believe that a laser-based service is the way forward. So essentially, in conclusion, we have good quality level two health economic evidence with an Oxford Center for, uh, for, for, for management um, of evidence that this comes to a grade B recommendation as directed by the National Institute for Clinical uh, Evaluation or NICE. Um, we believe that there are quantifiable direct cost savings but also multiplied by a domino effect of substantial indirect service um, improvements and a significant and appreciable effect uh, on the real life economy uh, within the catchment area of the service. So ladies and gentlemen, what we are saying is we can achieve faster, for cheaper, for better. What's not to like? And finally, I was quite impressed by being educated uh, as uh, soon I stepped out of the Malpensa airport yesterday, three o'clock in the morning, uh, to find out that I'm not the first Welshman that come to Milan. And indeed, the Celts have a very long-standing heritage, it seems, in, uh, in this part of the world, uh, not only when it comes to uh, playing rugby. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your thoughts and you for your patience. If there's any questions, there's my email, and I'm more, happy to take, more than happy to take questions. Thank you.